Hey there, it's me. Ow, 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 but Erin, what's going on? Hey, it's me, Kimberly. Welcome back to my. Oh, I hate when YouTubers say that. Oh my god, I just feel like if we have to see it for some reason. Okay, don't welcome back to my channel. It's just me, Kimberly. Alright? This video is going to be about my soca playlists. These are the songs that I love right now from Carnival 2019. These soca songs that I will be listening to after Carnival has finished because not every song translates into normal life that well, you know? So yeah, and you all will notice a general theme. Okay, most of these are groovy songs, right? Uh, that's just what I like. I just happen to like, you know, the little rhythm and the little music, etc, etc. And um, I wrote it down in my book because I'm under that hat, so I, I still write in books, right? I wrote it down in my little diary, and I'll just let you know what it is. Um, my single little piece for you, you know, my get a little treat, or um, what's the opposite of treat? If you don't like it, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, because... Um, We'll see, and if the um if what I sing is good enough, then I'll upload it separately on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my at down below, right? So yeah, let's get started from um let's get started from let's get started with Kimberly went to school. Let's get started with <laughs> my first favorite song that I developed when I watched um soca music videos and I reacted to it on my channel. That video is up and I will link it down below and that was Please and Love by Ilfan Alves and I love that song mostly because it has a lot of meaning, it's about love and well he said that he sang it at a lot of weddings so far and I'm like yeah I could definitely see that if I was getting married now 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 I would definitely hire Ilfan Alves to sing that song at my wedding, it's so nice, it's really good and the words are so meaningful and it has a theme of the whole burning up and fire and you know like blazing like something that's hot and you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what this is, you know what this is. Yeah, what happened is supposed to be in terms of love. So it's a really nice song, really romantic. Yeah, and I always meant to do a cover to this song, but the way how my life is set up is that I have no free time for myself anymore. So that didn't happen. So um I'll just record a little piece and put it on Instagram, right? Because I really love this song. <laughs> a book again. My other favorite is I'm moving a little like um I don't know, like uh, intoxicated. I, I think it's because I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know if I like breaking down my fat and producing ketones and making my lightheaded or something. But yeah, I'm real hungry, but I figure it's the best time to film it because I don't want to talk too much during the video. Look at me talking about how much I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to talk too much during the video. So I said I'll do it while I'm hungry instead of well fed so that I'll rush and go get something to eat. Moving on. Right. Um, Right, so soon after that, in that same video, I reacted to a personal by Five Star King. Um, I love the song, I love the song, and I did do a cover of all of the songs on the Osaka rhythm that I love. And I will link that up here, I think it's this direction, I don't care what here. I will link that, right? So I did personal, and my other, one of my other favorites, Right for somebody, it may not be right for you, but I write for somebody. I looking good, I feeling good, I smelling good. Oh God, I looking good, I feeling good, I smelling good, I tasting good. Oh God, I know these songs and the words and the words and the words, but yes, yes, I love it. Talking about tasting good, this one was a surprise to me, surprise, surprise, surprise. But same way that last year, Tingo crew on me and like it was literally in my head all the time don't you hear the thing go uh oh it's a snack it's a snack by Nessa Perpy it's always in my head I really can't I have to play I have to play I have to I have to play it I really I really can't get over this song give me a little something I will you give me a little something hey 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 well girl whining well woman Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Um, yeah, I love the little her voice too. Well, sorry, it's a bridge. What is a pre chorus? It's a different kind of line. So the girl in my wine, I'm a balloon and hold me, oh my. So the girl in my wine, I'm a balloon and hold me. Alright, that's it. Okay, 
okay okay cool <laughs> keep your wig on girlfriend Woo. keep your wig on moving on uh what i have next oh <laughs> party start right swappy featuring <laughs> ultimate rejects yeah, after that song, you're here to you're here to sing when you're traveling, you maxi, etc., etc. All the time, I like it. It's a nice song, but just recently, I don't know what possessed me to look up the lyric video and just see the bitty 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 bitty. So this in my head all day long. I'm just like bitty 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 bitty. It's not good for my mental health, but I love this song so much. It's definitely one of my favorite songs this year. Bent by Tedson has a deep spiritual meaning to me. Because um, I identify a lot with the lyrics. A lot of people are always in my business and they always came to know more things about me than I know about my own self. So, um, given that, um, yeah, I, this is one of the reasons why I made a YouTube channel because, like, if you want to know my business so bad, here you go, subscribe, <laughs> log on, and just show sure enough, show sure enough they watch the videos because when they see me, they say, oh, I saw so and so. I saw you got engaged. Did you subscribe though? You didn't because you don't like me, but you want to know my business. But anyway, people don't know ya, eh, but they gon' judge ya. They talking about ya. Must be something about you. Smiling in your face and talking you bad and making up things that far from the facts. Why you talking and talking and talking about me? I mean, listen, <laughs> why do I never know lyrics to songs? I tell them, yeah, please don't touch me. God, I put you to watch me, and he don't like ugly. So come and take your eyes off me. Off of me. Off me. Off of me. People talking, you can't pale, pale, pale. Pale, pale, pale. Pale, pale, pale. Keep on talking. Yeah, I love that song. I love that song so much. Um, I was a fan of Tedison since um, um, Ale 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 Ale, and I love the mixture of the patois. I wish that Trinidadians had like a patois where we would incorporate another language, but no, all we do is just make a mess out of sentences and say stuff like consequences. Um, so it's not the same thing. All right. Next, oh, I actually don't have much. Um, Savannah Grass, guess when everybody was championing for it to be ruined. Match, I was like, I can't see that to be ruined. <laughs> I'm annoying. I can't, I couldn't see Savannah Grass winning road match in any capacity, way, shape, or form. To me, it just wasn't like if it is that. I, I did I actually did say this. I, I told somebody this. If I was playing carnival and I paid five to six thousand dollars on a costume, and the song that I play when I cross the stage is on a grass, I would have my money because I was something with more, you know, vibes and a little more up, you know, a little more, you know, no, 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 a little more, no, 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 you know, a little more something you could get on and you could wind to whatever you're going on the floor and all that stuff that I could never picture myself doing. Right, so I went up onto something like that. The Savannah Grass to me is so sweet. It's melodic. It's nice. It's, um, it's, 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 it's like, you know, spiritual. But for all of those reasons, I guess that's why people like it because I tend to forget, since I am a non carnival goer, <laughs> that carnival is a very spiritual experience for a lot of people. Um, not just now. But also in the past, seeing that it was born from rebellion, secondary to slavery. So people feel that and it's a cultural aspect, it's a familial aspect where people um, have their families, young and old, you know, involved in carnival. So even though I didn't get it in that way, I understand it. But after hearing it all the time and after hearing people cover it, I saw Yasha she did it on the ukulele, I saw somebody did it on the piano, I saw it on the pan and I was like this song is just too sweet, it's just too beautiful, it's way too beautiful for me to corrupt by singing it right now <laughs> but I still want to come on down for the mountain oh god away and then you're like it's real down you come around, it's so bad I'm around it's so bad I'm around and you hear that and then you say oh god away and you're coming down for the mountain oh god away Right, let me 
stop being a kong and actually read the words for this. Why? Why? Why don't I read the words for this? We all on the ground, yeah. We holding it down, yeah. We up on the story. It's about now, Juve morning. Juve morning. Everybody coming in, yeah. You ready to, ready to go, yeah. We go make them jump. We go make them turn up. We go make them whine. We go make them free up. Is the place a bacchanal? In the street for put on the call this carnival. How are you to find your way? Everybody on the stage, oh God, oh. If you're coming down from the mountains, oh God, oh. When the rhythm beaten and tongue, see we jumping on the savanna grass. The savanna grass. Yeah, I hope you all don't take any offense because I don't know the lyrics to some of these songs, but I wrote a few songs last week. For an artist and I don't remember the words for the songs that I wrote um, so <laughs> it's just me it's not you it's just me right so uh, that completes my list of my favorite songs that I love and um, I, 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 a lot of songs are not there not because I don't like them just because it's because uh, okay the songs on the list what is wrong with me today the songs on the list are songs that I have been listening to since they came out and I never stopped a lot of the times with soca music I listen to them and then I stop <laughs> or I don't um, buy them or download them because I know that I won't want to listen to them after carnival is over it's bad but whatever at least I'm honest but these are the songs that are just happen to be my favorite so yeah that's the end actually let me go through my favorites list on my phone just to make sure that I didn't forget any oh I actually did and where you from the voice tell me my name is Mr. Rum you hear the iron that means it's that don't let nobody style you mash it up flat tell me pick up something anything Rum tell me to grab something anything I just want to pick up something anything watch out I will grab something Okay, I didn't think that last part through properly. Um, um, I have to go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm way too old for this stuff. Alright, so, whew. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure and click like. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. And subscribe. <laughs> Share this video to your friends. Um, follow me on other social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Kim Kojo and put on the notifications when you subscribe so that you'll know when I post other videos. I shall be posting a couple more carnival oriented videos before the carnival season is done. And that's it. I'll see y'all. Bye. Tell me pick up something, anything. Rum, tell me to grab something, anything. I just want to pick up something, anything. It's a, it's a snack. It's a tea time pack. Well done. Is that? Is that? Ah! Well, I look skinny, so um, um, is a rondelati or is a um, cheese sticks? Maybe. Um, yeah.